In January, my family and I stepped foot in Xiaoliuqiu, a coral island located southwest of Taiwan. We went scuba diving, and we saw a lot of sea turtles. Unbeknownst to them, they carry the entire weight of the island's reputation on their shoulders. About a decade ago, Xiaoliuqiu was still a remote island dominated by the fishing industry. However, as people discovered its valuable marine environment and intertidal area, more and more tourists and scuba diving industries flocked to the island year by year. Sea turtles became Xiaoliuqiu's new identity. Nevertheless, what I noticed was the sheer amount of tourists on the island. Despite the fact that it was the low visitor time period, it was crowded to the point where I occasionally bumped into other teams of tourists on the beach. While it's easy to think that we're just here to meet turtles and have a good vacation, tourism has taken a heavy toll on the marine environment through two factors. Number one, in the past 10 years, the trash in Xiaoliuqiu has increased from 1,500 tons in 2009 to 2,800 tons in 2019. Second, water pollution caused by illegal hotels. Among the 400 plus hotels in Xiaoliuqiu, only 120 of them are legally sanctioned. The sheer amounts of illegal hotels overload the island's coast. And as a result, trash mountains and coral bleaching is a main problem in Xiaoliuqiu. Even though your intentions to participate in tourism might be pure, everyone will unavoidably partake in marine disturbance. As humans, we tend to feel superior to our animals, but we have to realize that we depend on the ocean and these organisms culturally and economically. Xiaoliuqiu without corals and sea turtles would devastate the industries on the island. The trash we throw into the ocean are already being ingested by fish and have been found in our bloodstreams in the form of microplastic. And nobody would know the extent of the ecological ripple effect if sea turtles, crustaceans, or corals truly go extinct. Our next generation will suffer the ramifications of a world where nature no longer coexists with humanity. However, the path is not preordained, and the solution to a better future are simple. Be accountable for your own waste and recycle. Join a beach cleanup team regularly if you have the time. And the next time you go to Xiaoliuqiu, consider using the publicly available Bay and recyclable bowls that you can borrow from vendors and restaurants around the island. Most important of all, remind yourself that we are all organisms on the same earth. We are interconnected and it is all vital for us to coexist.